Hey, welcome back to the channel. Hey, I want to talk about True Detective. Now, True Detective been out a really long time ago. I'm talking like a long time ago. I was at work, and I uploaded a video earlier. I was talking about this show on uh, my Prime, uh, on my Amazon Prime. It was called Reacher. So this guy at work was like, hey, did you see True Detective? I said, nah, man. I said, I heard about it, the bits and pieces. I said, but, you know, I heard. I said, how long has it been out? He goes, it's been out for a while. You know how long this thing been out? Came out in 2014. That's the first episode, 2014. So I was like, yeah, man, but I canceled my HBO Max. I'm thinking about picking it back up. I said, I don't know why. I said, I canceled it because I wanted to watch uh, The Last of Us. Uh, and I said, after I got done watching The Last of Us, I ended up buying The Last of Us uh, on my on a 4K disc because I just wanted to have it. Uh, I wish I could have got the the person who made the 4K disc to get rid of episode three where they had those. Never mind. Anyway, uh, Last of Us was good except for that one episode. But anyway, back to this True Detective. This came out in 2014, the first season. All right. So the guy at work was telling me about it. And like I told you in my previous video I just made earlier about Richard, you know, the one guy was telling me about it and then he said something, man, he's in a different department because I have to walk by. He let, you know how I was working in the factory, he goes to different departments. So I'm like, and the other guy came in that he talked to, he was like, oh yeah, man, he said they have different actors in each season. I said, really? He goes, yeah. And, uh, I said, uh, well, I seen, uh, I bit my lip earlier. I seen, uh, you know, I said, I seen that uh, they got the fourth season coming out with Jodie Foster. He goes, yeah, man. He said, that one's dropping. He goes, I, I watched a little bit of it. I have not got into it too much. But he said, yeah. He said, but yeah, it's good, man. You know, he said, it's good. It's the second shift, guys. So that's all right. Hmm. So I decided to get Max again. Because like I told you earlier, I got rid of Max because Last of Us is off. It doesn't come back on until probably next year sometime. Because that show is probably expensive to make. I probably won't. I'll probably check out of that one. Because they're going to get into that other stuff that I don't care for. Which I'm not going to say. But anyway. So the first season is is got, you know. It's actually got, you know, Woody Harrelson in it. And it's got Matthew McConaughey. And these guys are some good actors, man. These two played off each other so well. This first episode, I couldn't get enough. And again, just like Reacher, I could not, I, I, I'm a busy person. I'm just not the type of person that could just sit down. I got stuff to do today. I want to play a video game today. But I, don't, I know I can if I want to, but I, I want to do some stuff around the house, you know. I still need to work out. So anyway, I've watched that first episode. And the first episode was one hour. Second episode was 58 minutes. Second episode was 59 minutes. The third episode was 59 minutes. Pardon me. Fourth episode was 58 minutes. Fifth episode is 58 minutes. Sixth episode is 59 minutes. And the seventh episode is 54 minutes. And the last episode is 54 minutes. The climax of this last episode. And yes, I get it, folks. I'm very late to the show, so don't get it twisted. I'm looking down there, I see 2014, and yes, this is 2024. I'm 10 years off. I get it. Because I was looking at Woody Harrelson and and, and, and and Matthew McConaughey. I was like, I don't think they look like that now. I think Woody's bald now, I think, or slightly bald. But these two played off each other so well. And it was, I was, I was so engrossed in trying to figure stuff out the the way they made this episode these episodes was just like a chef's kiss so anyway right you done with that did you get all that because what i'm about to tell you is something else too so i'm all jacked up right so i'm watching i got done with that first season i was like ah oh, you know i'm rubbing my hands again i'm like yeah season two baby checked out I checked out season two like real fast. I could not handle season two. I don't know what they were thinking about in season two. I checked out. Let's see. Where did I check out at? I checked out in. Uh, I did not. I checked out in. Yeah, I checked out in episode four. I just. 
it, it, it just don't, you know, I don't know what they were thinking. Uh, I don't know what they were thinking because I cannot watch this. How do you go from season one to season two like that? How? It's a shame, really. So anyway, that first episode was by far, I mean, the first season by far was a chef's kiss. I'm telling you, it is the creme de la creme. I'm talking about award-winning season one. I'm talking about award-winning season one. I mean, the acting was on point. The story was on point. It just kept you going and going and going. You're trying to figure out things. I don't, I mean, they was on point. And then what happened? They get on season two and they just went south. I don't know what happened on season two. I don't even know if I'm going to even try to finish it to see if I could think if it's, it's salvageable to finish. Oh, I ain't done yet. I ain't done yet. So, I said, all right, all right, I'm done. You know, I watched the movie the other day I'm going to talk about here shortly. I was like, oh, I'm going to watch this movie I've seen on HBO Max. And, on Max, and I'm going to, uh, you know, cause, because True Detective falls in the HBO original. But anyway, I said, oh, you know, this weekend, so, you know, I'm going to cancel my HBO. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to cancel my Max subscription because I'm done with True Detectives, right? Because that first season, you can't touch it. You just can't. And the second episode, the second season, let me down because I just didn't want to watch it. This one dude's got a girl pregnant and he likes a dude, which I went like, oh, they had to throw that in there. Then you got this chick, which is, which is freaking... I mean, I'm a dude, man. I love women. I look at her. I'm like, girl, you better be glad you ain't. I, you, oh my god, girl. I, I, I. Never mind. I'm gonna keep it to myself. You got problems in your head. I, I. Never mind. Anyway, she had these issues where she would watch these sex tapes, but I guess she. I could. I don't know, man. They dropped the ball on episode two, so I couldn't watch it. I, I checked out on episode four. So anyway. I'm quite sure it has some redeeming qualities, but anyway, after watching, here's what made me cancel. Well, I was going to cancel anyway because I'm on the, I only got it because everybody at work was telling me that season one was so awesome. And did you check out True Detective? And it's got, you know, three episodes, you know, three seasons and got a new one popping up, which popped up this, 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 this year. So I, I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw, I, I, saw, I, I subscribed for nine dollars with the ad tier. With the ads, don't bother me. So I watched it and I was blown away. So I was jacked up. So I was like, okay, now I see why people told me about this, right? And so I watched season two, like I told you. Checked out on episode four. Okay, okay. So I'm, I took a couple of weeks off because you got all these streaming services you watch, and you're like, oh, there's so much to watch anymore. So which is good. It's just that there's so much to watch. You just don't feel like watching anything. It's just, it's just you turn on TV. It's like, boom! You know, it's like, damn. You know, it's like a damn menu. You got to look up. You don't know what to get. Because he's like, and they like, and you got the guy behind the counter or the woman behind the counter. May I help you? You got people standing behind you. He goes like, uh, well, uh, I want, uh, I want, uh, I want, uh, I want. That's how streaming services is. Back to this. Anyway, True Detective. So, I seen where episode, season four came out. Now, season three, I didn't even give it a try. It's got Mahershala Holly in it. And I'm like, this is 2019. So you go from, you go from, you go from 2014 with the first season. Then you go to ep season two, 2015. You jump to season three, which is 2019. So I was like, well, I'm not giving Mahershala Ali it. Uh, I'm not even going to give him a ch try. Because I kept saying, Mahershala Ali, boy, he's got a lot of hair. He's bald now. I think it's by choice. So anyway, uh, he's our new Blade, by the way. But anyway, I was like, I'm not even going to watch that because I was so let down by season two. So I'm, 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 I'm ready to, I know I'm getting to the point, I'm ready to, to, cancel my max subscription 
And so, when I told you in the other video that I just made, I decided to go ahead and keep them. But anyway, so I seen, you know, rave reviews about this new season that came out with Jodie Foster and them. I don't like this at all. I don't like it at all. Jodie Foster, she's an asshole. Her 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 friend is an asshole. They're very unlikable. I'm gonna be straight up with you. Jodie Foster was sold me on this. Then you got her partner walking around with these piercing in her chin, looking like some he she chick, going around beating up dudes. It's uh, uh, you know, I guess she's supposed to be a boxer in real life. But I'm like, you know, us men are not no pushover. And I tell you, a woman hit me, I'm gonna knock the shit out of her and let her know that I am not playing. I, I don't slap me. I'm not going to slap you. I will not put my hands on you, but you just don't hit me out of the blue. Because it's a natural reaction to smack her back. Do I go around and hit women? No. I'm just saying that the way they made this, they make men look so weak in this episode. So you know what I did? I checked out on on the uh, second episode. I mean, that this one guy, his wife's trying to make love to him. The likable character in here, the one guy, his wife's always wanting to make love to him, but He's got his asshole boss, which is Jody Foster. He just drops drops everything. And I've been like, hey, I'll be over there in a minute. Cause we about to get down. Because I'm like, no, nah, I got my wife sitting here. She wanting to get jiggy with it. And I like sex, but I don't have no girlfriend. I'm just, I'm just giving you an example here. Okay? Damn. What I'm saying is that in this scene, he's she trying to get she trying to get him going. He's like, I gotta take this call, honey. I'm sorry. And she's like, what the fuck? You know, pardon my French. I don't like cussing. I'm sitting there going, no, nah, I'm that phone gonna have to ring for a little bit. I'm gonna answer it later on, you know, after I get done. Cause I love women. I ain't had no girlfriend since 2009. I don't date. I ain't interested at all. I don't like what's out there anymore. I thank God where I'm at. Let me just make that clear. What I'm saying in here, though, I'm like, dude, just answer that phone later on. Go on and get down. I, I, the way she was acting, she acted like she wanted to do it on the kitchen table. I'm kinky anyway. I'm like, shit, girl, let's go. What are you doing? <laughs> you know, whatever she was trying to get him to do, I would have been playing along with it. Then after I got done, I said, hey, what's up? Okay, well, I'll be over in a minute. They made him look. He, uh, you guys look. I know I'm jumping around here. I'm just being honest. They made the men in here look so feeble and so... And these two chicks, man, just some hardcore rough round. I, I, I couldn't finish this one either. They dropped the ball. And this producer who's ever on this thing, whatever her name is, uh, 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 I don't even know this producer's name. But anyway, she the one that took over. And I... Uh, Isabel LeBlanc... She's, uh, no, is a Lopez. Terrible. Just terrible. This is a grade. This is a F in my department. It's a D minus. And what sold me was Jodie Foster. And the concept I thought was pretty good, but they just dropped the ball. I don't even know if I'm going to finish this or not because they make the men look so daggone weak. She beats up this guy. She doesn't even have this one cop chick, man. It's got these piercing in her cheeks. She beats up this guy after he already got knocked out. Didn't even ask questions. She just, it, you know, look. I could not get into this. And I, I doubt if I'll go back to the True Detectives because I guess this Isabel Lopez is taking over. And I just don't like, I don't even like where it's heading. Uh, you had this, you had this stepmother had this daughter that was just, I don't like season four, okay? And it sucks because I like Jodie Foster. And she's, her and her partner are two hardcore asshole chicks. And I don't like, and they make the men look weak. So that's just my, that's my take. So God bless, take care. And yeah, that's True Detective. We'll catch you later.